welcome back to my high performance dojo. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips for meditation. Step number one is to start small. All you need is just five minutes a day to get started meditating and to start to build that practice. Because at the end of the day, meditation is a skill like anything else. And so to get good at a skill, it just needs to become habitual. It needs to become something that you do all the time. So I recommend just scheduling five minutes a day and meditating. And so meditation doesn't have to be anything super fancy. All it needs to be is mindfulness. So going inward, usually we're pointing everything outward in our world, looking inward and asking ourselves the question, what's it like to be me right now? And you can just sit in the silence of that question for five minutes and just take deep breaths and just explore your internal experience. Something else you can do is just focus on your breath. So this is a little bit of like TM, transcendental meditation is like, you find one thing to focus on. And so you can focus on your breath. So focus on your breath coming in through your nose, out through your mouth, and just follow that cycle in through your nose, out through your mouth, nice long deep breaths for five minutes straight. And that's all you need. So start small, five minutes a day. If you'd like, I have a free seven day guided meditation experience that also starts with just five minute meditations. It's linked up in the description below. I'm making it available to you. It's available for free on iOS and Android. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and download it now. The second thing I recommend you doing is scheduling it. Now meditation is one of those things that constantly gets pushed in the back burner. Maybe you do it for a little bit and then you're like, ah, that's right, I should get back to meditating again. Well, studies show that with new habits, we can become 300% more successful in implementing a habit and taking action if we just put it on our calendar. So for me, I like to do it first thing in the morning. So you can do that or you can do it another time, whatever works for you, maybe halfway in the day at lunchtime to just break up your day and relieve some stress. Just schedule it somewhere in your calendar. All you need is five minutes. Step number three is to make it fun. If it's not fun, it's not sustainable. That's my rule for everything in life. And so there's so many different types of meditation. Find one that you actually enjoy and go forward with that. If you're doing a certain meditation, you're like, I don't like this. Try something else because there's so many different types of meditation. I look at it just like exercise. Some people like to yoga, some people like to lift weights, some people like to go play sports. Everyone has their own thing and not one is better than the other. As long as you're moving your body, it's good for your body. Same thing with meditation. As long as you find a practice you enjoy, it's good for your mind, it's good for your body, it's good for your soul. On this channel, actually, I've made a lot of different ones available. So I'll link it up in the corner of the screen right now. I have a guided meditation playlist and you can explore all the different types of meditations that are possible. Step number four, remove the pressure. It's okay, we're going to meditate to feel good. We're not going to meditate to achieve something and check a box, okay? so. Remove all the pressure on meditation. Understand that you don't have to do it for a certain amount of time. There's no right way to do it. There's no specific type of meditation you should be doing. If you sit down and you do nothing with your eyes closed for five minutes straight, that's a win. You should be super proud of yourself. At the end of the day, meditation is a tool that you need to utilize to make it work for you, not the other way. Don't become a slave to the tool. Meditation is there to support you. And the more you do it, the more maybe you enjoy it. Maybe you wanna go from five minutes to 10 minutes to 15 minutes because you see the benefits. But start with five minutes, there's no pressure. Just enjoy the practice that you do. Step number five, make it contribute to your goals. A lot of times when we're living really busy lives, it's hard to justify doing something like meditation because we don't really know the benefits that we get from it. Well, I wanna give you a few ways to help you have meditation, benefit your life and benefit the goals that you're going after. So one would be doing a positive visualization meditation. One of the best ways to create what you want in the future is to get clear about what that looks, feels, tastes, smells, sounds, Sounds like right here and now. The more clarity you can get about the results you want to create, the easier it is to know what actions are necessary to create those results. So again, I'll link up that meditation up here in the corner of the screen. It's a guided meditation. It's for positive visualization. It's going to help you get clear on your goals and what you want to achieve. And in general, when you meditate, think about it as a way to boost productivity. There's a lot of studies out there that shows that meditation relieves stress and anxiety and helps you with focus and alertness. So really you're supercharging your mind. So once you take those few minutes to meditate, you're gonna go back and be way more productive in your day-to-day -day life. So in closing, 
The cool thing about meditation is that the more you do it, the more you realize that all the things you've been searching for externally have always been available to you internally. You're gonna to start to realize that you find it easier to change the way you feel internally just by doing these meditative practices. And so in the past, you might've said, you know what, I need to smoke a cigarette, I need to get new clothes, or I need to do all these things externally to feel better in here. And over time with meditation, you realize that everything you've ever needed is within you right now. And so that's a beautiful thing. And I really hope that you get the opportunity to really experience this. And if you want some help with this, again, I've created a seven day guided meditation experience. It's free and it's gonna give you a little taste of what I'm talking about. And that's linked up in the description below. And you can click that link if you wanna grab it. So that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. If you wanna connect with me, I'm on Instagram as Zen Master Ep. Same thing with Twitter. I'm all over the internet. You can hit me up, ask me any questions you have or comment them below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next video.